Let's use the definition of derivative to find the derivative of a function, and then we'll locate the tangent line uh, that's horizontal, that's tangent to the curve, it's horizontal. Uh, this is also page 151, number 24 from our textbook. So just to review, we have a four-step process for finding the derivative using the definition. We compute just f of x plus h, then we form the difference, f of x plus h minus f of x. Then we form the difference quotient by dividing by h. And finally, we take the limit as h goes to 0. And we just break it into these four steps to make it a little easier to make that computation. We're going to find out later that the definition of derivative is not really the most efficient way to calculate a derivative. Uh, we spend a lot of our time learning rules that make it faster and more efficient. Uh, but it's also good exercise to practice uh, using this definition. So here we go. Let's look at the function f of x equals x squared plus 6, and we'll use the four-step process to find the derivative. Okay, so for step 1, we're going to find f of x plus h. And what that means is we plug x plus h, excuse me, x plus h, into the function wherever we see x. So we're going to have x plus h squared plus 6 times x plus h. And simplifying that, we'll get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. That's what you get when you expand the binomial there, the square of the binomial. We'll distribute the 6, and we'll get 6x plus 6h. Ooh, I made a typo there. 6x plus 6h. Okay, step two is we'll form the difference then, and remember that difference is f of x plus h, which we found above, minus the original function f of x. So essentially, we're going to subtract off x squared plus 6x. That looks like this x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 6x plus 6h minus x squared plus 6x. And if we, uh, remember, we're going to distribute this negative sign, so those are both negative, and basically they just cancel off the x squared and the 6x. So the difference then equals 2x plus, uh, excuse me, 2xh plus h squared plus 6h. That's all that's left because these guys are also canceled off. And then we're going to make our quotient. And when we do the quotient, we're going to divide by h. So that's f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. And basically that means we're going to do 2x plus h plus h squared plus 6h divided by h. And quite a few h's are going to cancel when we divide the h uh, excuse me, that's not 2x plus h, it's 2xh. Keep making that typo there. 2xh, uh, that h is going to cancel with this guy. One of these h's is going to cancel, and this h is going to cancel. And so for step 3, we end up with 2x plus h plus 6. Looks like I've run out of room here, so we're going to have to go on to another screen for step 4, and that's where we're going to take the limit of this expression as h goes to 0. Okay, so for step 4, we're going to do the limit as h goes to 0 of our quotient. And our quotient worked out to be 2x plus h plus 6. When you send h to 0, we're just going to use substitution. We're going to put a 0 in for h. And as it turns out, we can calculate this limit. That equals 2x plus 6. So what we found then is that the derivative of our function f of x, which we label as f prime of x, is 2x plus 6. And that's what they wanted us to do for the first part of this problem, is just find the derivative, f prime of x. So we did it. All right, good work.
See how I just complimented myself? Okay, let's move on to the next thing, which is to find the point on the graph of f where the, uh, the tangent line is horizontal. Right? Tangent to the curve is horizontal. So what they mean when they're asking us to find this horizontal tangent line is simply to take um, the derivative and set it equal to zero because the slope of a horizontal line is zero. So I'm going to solve the equation 2x plus 6 equals zero. We do a little algebra, we subtract the 6, and we get 2x equals negative 6, and then we'll divide by 2. You probably know how this works. And we find out that x equals negative 3. That's the x-coordinate of the point. Well, they want us to find the point, so we also need the y-coordinate. And since y equals f of x, I'm going to plug negative 3 into the original function. So that would be negative 3 squared minus 6 times negative 3. I'm sorry, that's 6 plus, uh, plus 6, sorry. A negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3. So that looks like, uh, what is that, 9 minus 18, which is negative 9. Okay, so the point itself that we're looking for is negative 3 comma negative 9. And we kind of knew that this was going to happen, but the, this is just the vertex of the parabola, right? x squared plus 6x is a parabola. Uh, the, hor the horizontal tangent line is going to hit at the vertex. Finally, they just want us to sketch a graph. I went one better than that, and I just plugged these things into Desmos. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so we're supposed to put three pieces on this picture. The first piece is the blue curve, which is f of x and that was x squared plus 6x. The second piece is the line that we found, which is a horizontal line. And since the point down here is negative 3 comma negative 9, that guy right there, the, the horizontal line that goes through that point is just y equals negative 9. So that's the horizontal line, and then you can see I've got the point here. It's a green dot, but I'm going to make it black just to make it look a little bigger. There's the point that we found. This is called a horizontal tangent line, and it bumps up to the parabola at the vertex negative 3, 9. So hopefully you were able to see how we use that four-step process to find a derivative, and then how we can use the derivative to locate horizontal tangent lines. Because we know the slope is 0, we set the derivative equal to 0 and then solve for x. Take that x value and plug it into the function to get the y value. Good luck.